What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty. Year 5 is here and week 1 of the season is about to get underway. Georgia State will start off the year at home against Fresno State and they have a lot of returning players on offense. You see here our top 3 players on offense are wide receivers and our quarterback. Georgia State's trying to make a bid at a top 25 ranking this year and maybe even a BCS bowl bid. We will have to wait and see, but week one is about to get underway. Fresno State will kick off and the 2017 college football season is underway. Mark Moore from his own goal line taking out past the 15, past the 20, pushed out of bounds at the 22 yard line. And that's where Georgia State will start on offense. Reynolds on the first play, handoff to Lamont George. Up the middle, he goes for 10 yards. And George will be the number one back this year for Georgia State, as he was most of the year last year when Derek Romero went out with that back strain for nine weeks. This pass on first and 10 goes to Marcus Jackson. Down the field he goes for 29 yards into Bulldog territory. Second and two now, handoff to Anthony Gross, the recruit out of Fort Riley, North Kansas. He is the number one of our number one recruits this last offseason. He'll be taking over for Lamont George after he graduates. And David Reynolds on second and eight takes off down the field for 11 yards, down to the 10. First and goal, Georgia State. Reynolds will drop back to pass, scramble out to the right. He's going to throw on the run to Sebastian Willard, and he's taken down right before the goal line at the one-yard line. Second down and goal. David Reynolds will hand off to George up the middle, basically untouched into the end zone for the touchdown, and Georgia State is on top, 7 to nothing after that good opening drive. And we have a studio update here. Troy has beaten Boise State 24-17 to open the season and get their first victory of the year. Georgia State kicks off now. Scott back his own goal line, taking it out past the 20 and taken down at the 28. And Fresno State will start there. Dantel James, the featured player for Fresno State, the senior running back, is a guy we're going to keep our eye on as they hand off to James. And we get to him in the backfield for a two-yard loss. This defense of Georgia State, though, is unproven here on the line as we've lost Tanner Strickland and Micah Anderson last after last year. And we've gotten number one overall recruit, uh, Williams, uh, Brandon Williams, I believe it is, on the, back on the line. So a freshman starting defensive tackle as Dontel James goes up the middle for 10 yards. Second down and eight now for the Bulldogs in Panther territory. Scott back to pass here. He's got fire deep and it's picked off by Jerome Schroeder. This secondary is one of the best in the country and we get our first interception of the season. Jerome Schroeder there picking off Scott and giving the Georgia State Panthers another opportunity here to put some points on the board as David Reynolds will go up the middle on the read option for 13 yards and a first down for the Panthers. Second and 14 now for Georgia State. Reynolds back to pass here. The pressure's coming, and he is sacked on the play for an eight-yard loss. That is going to set up a third and very long 22 yards they will need to get this first down. Reynolds out of the shotgun, going to fire this one deep to double coverage to Marcus Jackson, and he had it, but he couldn't hang on, and Georgia State will have to punt. Fresno State takes over, down by seven with under a minute to go in the first quarter. Scott back to pass, firing deep to Madison, and then he's got that catch, tiptoeing the sideline. They would review it, and it would upheld. Second down and 10 now. Scott back to pass, firing, dumping it off to Davis, who's going to get the first down, break a tackle, break another tackle inside the 40, pushed out of bounds at the 39-yard line. And at the end of one quarter, Georgia State remains on top, 7-0. to Fresno State will start the second quarter trying to finish this drive off with a touchdown. Third and two handoff to Cannon up the middle for nine yards and a first down for the Bulldogs, keeping the drive alive. First down and ten now. 
Scott back to pass. He's fighting over the middle. Caught by Scott. It's Scott to Scott for a first down and a flag at the end of that play. A face mask penalty puts them on the five-yard line. First and goal. Hand off to James up the middle. And he's taken down at the one-yard line, keeping them out of the end zone and keeping the lead for Georgia State. Second down and goal now. Scott will hand off to James. This time running over Jerome Schroeder into the end zone. Touchdown for Fresno State. Tying this game up with Georgia State at seven apiece. And we have a studio update. Number two, South Carolina scratches out a win against number seven, Florida State, 38 to 35. Georgia State takes over in our game here. Reynolds will hand off to George on the off tackle play. And George is able to get three yards up the middle. Third down and seven now for the Panthers. Reynolds out of the shotgun. Looking to throw here, going to fire this one over the middle, and it's broken up by Robert Stanley, and Georgia State will have to punt the ball, giving the Bulldogs good field position here, close to midfield, as Scott is back to pass, setting up the screen play to James, and it's snuffed out behind the line for a one-yard loss, and this Georgia State defense has been surprisingly good early on in this game. Scott back to pass on third and 11, and it's off the mark, incomplete, and Fresno State will have to punt, giving the ball back to Georgia State. Reynolds under center here, hands off to George, up the middle, he will go for seven yards, and Georgia State would have a third and inches now, and Reynolds will hand off to Johnson, the fullback, up the middle, Mike Johnson for five yards, and a first down for Georgia State. Later on in the drive, it's first and 10. Reynolds back to pass out of the shotgun here. Gonna fire this one deep. Marcus Jackson has the catch, but he can't hang on as they drag him to the ground, and it's incomplete. Second down and 10 now for Georgia State. Reynolds back to pass once again over the middle. He will go to Mark Moore, who gains 10 yards, and a Panthers first down into Bulldog territory. On the very next play, Reynolds will fake the handoff, look to pass, scramble out to the right. He's gonna fire this one deep. Wide open is Mark Moore, down to the 10. Inside the 10 yard line at about the nine and a half, a 40 yard reception from Reynolds to Moore. And he beat his man off the line and the safety could not get over there in time. It's first down and goal for Georgia State. Handoff goes to George on the sweep and he is able to gain two yards on the ground. Setting up this third and goal now for the Panthers. Reynolds out of the shotgun here, looking, firing to the end zone, and caught by Mark Moore. Eight yards and a touchdown for Georgia State as the defender could not swat the ball away, and Georgia State takes the lead 14 to seven. As you see, Dontel James for Fresno State, 38 yards on the ground in the first quarter, but only eight so far here in the second as Fresno State takes over. Scott back to pass. He's looking, he's gonna dump it off to James on the screen play, and James is gonna gain nine yards. They would pick up the first down. First down and 10 for Fresno State. Scott will hand off to James up the middle, cuts it outside, and gains another nine yards. And they take a timeout with just under two minutes to go to talk it over. Second down and one for the Bulldogs at midfield. Scott back to pass, firing to Mark over the middle. Good for five yards and a first down. Jermaine Mark with that catch. First and 10, Bulldogs out of the shotgun. Scott looking, breaks a tackle from Brad Williams. Caught by Otis Davis over the middle. And that's not Otis Davis, that's Hunter Davis. 17 yards and a first down. Otis, Otis Davis plays for us. Scott back to pass on first and 10. He'll fire this one on the run. This one caught by Demari Scott. 12 yards and out of bounds for the first down at the 15 yard line. First down 10, handoff to James. He's gonna cut it outside, back up the middle and he will have enough for the first down, down to the three and they take a timeout to talk it over once again with just over a minute to go. It's first and goal. Scott will hand off to James and he will be caught behind the line by, by Ryan Meyer for a loss. Second down and goal now for the Bulldogs. Scott will Taken himself this time, tripped up by Brad Williams and leveled by Jamel Spencer. He lays the smack down on Scott, resulting in a one yard loss. Third and goal now, the pressure gets to Scott and the ball falls incomplete and Georgia State ekes away with giving up a field goal right before half and keeps the lead 14 to 10 over Fresno State.
Fresno State deferred to the second half, so they start out with a ball, second and ten, hand off to James, and he is met in the backfield and taken down for a four-yard loss. And looking at the halftime stats here, pretty even as far as the offensive yards go and the turnovers, and Georgia State leads that time possession stat. So it's a pretty close game here, 14 to 10. And on third and 14, Scott back to pass here, firing this one deep, and it's broken up by Patrick Griffin. And that sets a fourth down and a punt from Fresno State. Georgia State would take over with really good field position. Second and eight already in Bulldog territory. This pass is going to Marcus Jackson, and he gains about 12 yards and a first down for the Panthers, trying to put some points up on the board on their first drive of the second half. Reynolds looking to pass. He's scrambling, breaks two sack attempts and steps up and decides to take off inside the 30, has the first down to the 25. And David Reynolds, a good play there, seeing that no receivers were open. Second down and five. Reynolds taking off on the read option inside the five, taken down at the one, an 18 yard gain on the ground as you look at the replay here. Just barely missed the end zone there. First and goal. Reynolds will drop back. He's going to look. He's going to end up scrambling out to the left here and have to throw this one away. A good play there. Not losing yardage to, by taking a sack. Second and goal now for the Panthers. Hand off to George up the middle into the end zone for a touchdown. His second touchdown on the day is going to put Georgia State up by 11 here. Midway through the third quarter and that is number two on the day for Lamont George, as we look at a studio update, we have an upset. South Alabama upsets number 15 Ole Miss, 27 to 24. That is a big one, as South Alabama is only projected to be in the top or the bottom two of the Sun Belt Conference. As this pass to Dontel James goes for negative yards on Fresno State's first possession or first play of the possession. Third and 11 now, this pass by Scott is intercepted by Sean Johnson, and he's inside the 30, our second takeaway of the day, and Georgia State takes over in field goal range already as the handoff to Georgia on first and 10 goes nowhere, stopped in the backfield for a two yard loss. Third and 12 now for the Panthers, Reynolds looking to pass for that first down, and he hits Sebastian Willard. He's down inside the 10, taken out of bounds at the 6-yard line, a 24-yard gain. First and goal now for the Panthers. Sweet play to Lamont George, going nowhere, losing one yard on that play. Second down and goal now. Reynolds under center. He will hand off to George, trying to go up the middle, and it looks like he got in, but they say no. 6-yard gain, and he's down at like the half-yard line. So on third and goal, Reynolds will hand off to Anthony Gross, the freshman, into the end zone for the touchdown, his first touchdown of his Georgia State career, putting the Panthers up 28-10 here in the third quarter. The route may be on as Fresno State takes over, first and 10, the pressure getting to Calvin Scott, and he throws that one away. Third down and 10 now for the Bulldogs. Scott back to pass, dumping it off to Damare Scott, only gaining three yards, and that would set up fourth down and a punt by Fresno State. Georgia State takes over already in Bulldog territory as there was a penalty on the special teams. David Reynolds takes off on first and 10 up the middle for three yards, setting up a third and five later on the drive. Reynolds back to pass. He is being chased, and he has to throw this one away, and Georgia State has to punt, giving the ball back to Fresno State here at the end of the third quarter, trying to get something going. Third and 16, Scott back to pass, looking, firing deep, and this one's going to be broken up at the last second by Knight Dallas. And at the end of three quarters, Georgia State has increased their lead 28 to 10. Georgia State takes a 28 to 10 lead into the fourth quarter, starting out with the ball second and nine. Reynolds passing deep to Mark Moore, and he catches that one for 12 yards. He has four catches for 70 yards and a touchdown on the day. First down and 10, handoff to Lamont George. Nowhere to go up the middle, and he has stopped behind the line for a one-yard loss. Second down and 11 now for the Panthers. Reynolds looking to pass this one, scrambling out to the right. Decides to take off, and he's past midfield and taken out of bounds about a yard shy of the first down, even though they would pick it up on the next play. 
first down and 10 now. Reynolds firing deep. This one's caught by Sebastian Willard. He's taken down at about the five and a half yard line. A big gain through the air of 25 yards. First down and goal to go. Handoff goes to George. He's going to get three yards down to about the two, looking for his third rushing touchdown of the day. And on second down and goal, he would get that one up the middle. He goes for three yards and the touchdown. After the extra point, Georgia State's lead is 25, and Lamont George sets a new school record with three rushing touchdowns in one game. Fresno State takes over now, and Sean Johnson's going to knock that pass away incomplete. And Georgia State also has their second player, second string players in this game right now. As the handoff goes to Dontel James up the middle for 17 yards. And coach head coach Chip Nolan wants to see what these second string players can do. Seeing as though we have a four score lead here in this game. And James again up the middle. This time for 15 and a first down. Third and five now. Scott back to pass. He will look. He's going to fire this one to James. And Xavier Williams is going to miss the tackle. And James will pick up the first down out of bounds at the 34-yard line. First down and 10 for Fresno State. Calvin Scott back to pass. Firing on the run to John Ferguson for 13 yards and a first down. This drive continues for Fresno State. And the second string defense for Georgia State not looking that good as McLeod runs over a defender and another. And he's finally taken down at the eight yard line. First and goal to go for Fresno State. Second down and goal here. Hand off to Dontel James up the middle. He will go into the end zone for the touchdown. And they would kick an extra point instead of going for two. And they have to kick an onside kick here with just under three minutes to go. They go ahead and kick it here, and it bounces off a couple defenders for Georgia State, and Phillip Williams will recover it for Fresno State. So they take over again on offense, and the second string defense still in here for Georgia State as this pass to Scott is bobbled and dropped as he goes out of bounds. Second down and 10 now for Fresno State. Calvin Scott back to pass, dumps it off to James over the middle, and he's got enough for the first down, 11 yards on that reception. After a short catch and a face mask penalty, Fresno State has the ball inside the 20. This pass to the end zone is broken up by Chris Long, and that will bring up third down and nine for the Bulldogs. Scott back to pass here, looking, fighting to the sideline. This one's caught by Damari Scott. 13 yards out of bounds at the four-yard line. First down to First down and goal to go. Scott firing to the end zone, and Steven Stallings has the four-yard TD catch, and Fresno State is now only down by 12, pending this two-point conversion try by the Bulldogs. Scott will hand off to James, and he will cut it outside into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and Fresno State now down only by 10, once down by 25, is going for the onside kick once again, and this time, Otis Davis will recover it for Georgia State, and they are able to run the clock out here down near the goal line, looking for another touchdown but couldn't get it. And Georgia State will walk away with a victory in the home opener of the year, the season opener of the year, and Lamont George is your player of the game. 78 yards and three touchdowns on the ground as Georgia State walks away with this victory, and it came down very close at the end there by 10 points. Final score, Georgia State 35, Fresno State 25. Taking a look at the stats from our game today, Georgia State dominated this game on offense and defense through the air and through the ground, racking up almost 400 yards of offense on the day. Looking at the players of the game, Lamont George on offense, 78 yards rushing, three touchdowns, and Sean Johnson, three tackles and an interception on the day. Week two is our bye week, so what we're going to do here is look at some recruiting, and these are all in order of importance here. Matt McFadden is our number one overall guy on our board we want, and basically all these guys in the top ten, we really want these guys. We are looking to bolster our offensive line as far as tackles and guards and get better middle linebackers and defensive end and defensive tackles. So next episode will be week three. We will be on the road against number 19, Oklahoma State. They are 1-0. We are 1-0. Can the Georgia State Panthers get their biggest victory of the season so far against number 19? We will find out in the next episode. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys 
in the next video.